so pale. This jacket snatches. Makes me snatch. Good morning, friends. Welcome to today's video. I am starting this 9.30 on a Sunday because today I am taking you guys through my weekly reset. I had my like super relaxing, completely stayed in bed all day yesterday. And today I am motivated to like get up, get ready for the week, kind of do my super like productive Sunday routine when I'm like motivated to get a head start for the week. There's gonna be some meal planning, some weekly planning, some mental recharging, just overall getting myself ready for the week. I wanted to intro this video, say welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and supporting this channel, I appreciate you. So first things first, I'm going to take you through my workout. I was gonna do a ballet workout, but honestly, I just feel like going to the gym and I'm on my period, so kind of doing ballet right now is just like, it's a whole thing, you know? And I don't think I have the mental capacity for that. This is the gym fit for today. I feel very compressed, but I have to put this jacket on cause I'm gonna do a mic'd up workout. But in order to do that, I need somewhere to like hide the mic. The whole fit is on or active and the shorts I have on are, I believe it's called their Timeless Collection and it's the deep taupe color. It's like my favorite color that they have because it's like the super pretty brown. And I'm wearing the matching sports bra with it, which you can kind of see. So this is the gym outfit. I'm ready to go. And I'm gonna take you literally through the workout with me. I'm gonna do it mic'd up. how important fitness is to my lifestyle and my overall well-being and in order to keep up with a workout schedule of like five to six days a week it has been super important to me recently to start focusing on muscle and joint and bone health and because of that i have started to prioritize taking collagen and good quality supplements because even though collagen does help with like joint health and muscle health it also helps with hair skin and nails which is something i'm always trying to improve this is biotrust it is a multi-collagen and turmeric product i like this product because it's unlike any other collagen product that i've tried which typically they only have like two types of collagens and Biotrust has five different types of collagens in here. And I love turmeric for all the other like healing and detoxifying properties that it have. I try to make sure I'm always taking it as a supplement and this has just made it super easy to make sure I'm getting it in every day. And I love that I'm able to get it in super easily with my little golden milk drink that I have been drinking. So I will just add a scoop of this to a latte or a tea and you can see the scooper comes in here. It doesn't clump and it's hormone and antibiotic free so it's a very clean product. If you have been looking for a clean high quality collagen to add into your daily routine or supplement routine then you can click the link down below to get 51% off of your order with Biotrust and you get free shipping and they're also including a 60 day money back guarantee so you can try it out see how you like it and I want to thank Biotrust so much for sponsoring this video i have been enjoying this product so much okay guys we're ready we're starting with barbell bench press it's always a little intimidating filming in the gym i'm gonna warm up with no weight 12 reps one two three four seven twelve i think we can add some fibers so let's add them I recently was able to actually start benching the bar, which is exciting. I've never been able to do this. I feel like a true gym girly. 12, 11, 10, 5, 4, 2, 1. Okay, now we're doing dumbbells fend press. There's no 15s available, so I'm using 20s. 2, 4, 5, 9, 11, 12. Also, if you're embarrassed to film in the gym, it really helps to have music blasting your ears. Cause you can kind of tune everyone else out. Okay, here we go. Last set. Two, four, eight, 
failure. Okay, next we have a dumbbell Arnold press. Basically a shoulder press with a little like variation at the bottom. And in case you're curious, this is what's currently playing in my ears. One, three, six, 10, 12. One, two, five, seven, 10, 12. We've got one more exercise and then we're done. Cable upright row. My arm is literally shaking holding this up. One, three, four, six, nine. I'm back home now and I'm going to make my usual chocolate banana protein smoothie that I like to make after my workouts to hold me over. It is 11.30 right now, so I'm just gonna do this, hop in the shower and then get dressed to make some content for the week. And I'm gonna do this because my bananas are about to go bad. So this is the perfect time to either freeze them for smoothies or use them in a smoothie. I will have this vegan protein link down below. It's my favorite one. I feel like usually vegan proteins are very like grainy and almost like thick. And this one doesn't give me that at all. Put some cinnamon, some milk. I want to try and style this like long yellow cardigan for some content and I think I'm just gonna do all white under so I have these wide leg sweats I guess they're sweats from Brandy did they shrink and then I'm just gonna put a tank top with it I think because it's really not cold outside I'm thinking just like a little tank top like this I have an inspo picture that I saw on Revolve I like that so I think I'm gonna do like a bun with no part Maybe, or like some sort of bun. I am so ready to head out and get some content in this outfit. I ended up loving it. It just took a bit of thought to put together because the cardigan is so long. I wasn't really sure how to style it if I wanted to do it with jeans, but I think I love this like keeping it all white under so that way the main part of this is the sweater. I have on this tank and bottoms from Brandy. And then I put on this cardigan from a brand called Rumored. I'll have it linked down below. This purse from JW Pay. I love the brown color. I have these sunglasses on that are just like these brown tortoise color from, I think they're from Naked Fashion or like H&M or something. And my platform Uggs that I got last year, so. That is the entire look, my Amazon Bottega dupe earrings, which I will also have linked down below. And that's the look. I just took a TikTok in this. So I'm trying to 
load up on the content. That's really the goal for these next few hours. Renee is on his way over to pick me up because I literally am incapable of taking Instagram pictures by myself. If I'm using my tripod, it takes me like twice as long than if I'm with him. So I always call him and I'm like, can you please help me? And then we're gonna head to the groceries because I need some meals for the week. So I'll show you how I like meal plan all of that. Guys, it's been the craziest week with Lola. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen that I posted a story talking about how she has been sick like all week, but she's doing so much better. I was so worried. That's a little Lolita update for those of you that were wondering or saw my Instagram story. Anyways, I think Rena is here because I can see my phone lighting up, so I'm gonna go downstairs and meet him. Let the content commence. <laughs> were able to see some of that but we got it so i'm outside of whole foods and i thought before i went in um i would do some meal planning just for the week so i have some like things and meal ideas written down so when i go in i kind of know like what i'm shopping for and I don't have to come back every day throughout the week and I can just get it all right now. I got this at the container store and I really like it because it has obviously all the days of the week and I'll just write like breakfast, lunch, dinner on each and then plan them and then I can make the grocery list right here and it's super easy to just like take into the store with me. And that's pretty much how I plan my meals. I just kind of plan by days of the week and then in there I'll put in like takeout days because obviously I know I'm not gonna like cook every single day um, and I try and stick to it as much as possible and it just helps me like with budgeting, with saving time, saving energy. I'm gonna plan some healthy meals and I think I'm gonna look up some recipes on my phone. I'll probably do some soups. I know that because it's gonna get cold this week. And there's this lentil soup I really like to make. Okay, I'm back from the groceries. I'm gonna give you a quick haul of what I got. A lot of it's just ingredients for the meals that I planned out this week. So starting over here, I have sourdough bread. And I also bought some tuna from like their cafeteria to make a little sandwich right now with the bread. Some carrot chips for soups and also snacks. Uh, baby tomatoes, romaine, this fig spread for, I don't know, toast sandwiches. Sour cream, Greek yogurt, coconut kimchi and then over here lots of veggie broth because it's officially soup season it's finally getting cold this week brown lentils spicy hummus um, a baguette some balsamic glaze red wine vinegar for a recipe and then tortilla strips for soup croutons for salad lots of different beans we have chili beans cannellini beans garbanzos diced tomatoes some dates for snacks, broccoli, cauliflower, and other produce like peppers, jalapenos, sweet potatoes. My favorite almond milk. I get a vanilla one for my coffee and then like an unsweetened one for everything else. And I restock on olive oil and then some more little fruit and produce things over here. That's everything. So now it's time to organize the fridge and put it away. myself a little late lunch. I just did a tuna sandwich with like some romaine and pickles and then carrot chips and spicy hummus on the side. Sometimes I get requests for what I eat in a week, but I don't know if that would be interesting. So I think I'm gonna try it out as a reel this week and start with this meal and we'll see how it goes. But
hey guys it is 6 30 and i've just been like sitting on the floor of my room watching pll it is time to deep clean the apartment it's nothing like super deep cleaning but it's definitely more than i do like in the every day i just do it once a week to get the apartment clean and reset and fresh if i have a clean space I have a clear mind kind of just keeps everything like fresh because i hate when dirtiness starts to build up and i feel like i can minimize that by cleaning well once a week i actually don't mind cleaning like it's kind of therapeutic to me i'll put on a youtube video or a podcast or something and there's something really satisfying afterwards when it smells so clean and fresh and you're like this is the best and then you wake up monday and you're so ready for the week i haven't gotten a chance to like fully do this in a few weeks and usually i try not to skip it and I've definitely felt the difference. I just feel like my weeks blend into each other almost. It's also, it's really cold outside. It's like in the 50s, which is really cold for me. It kind of came out of nowhere. Apparently there's a cold front, obviously, that was coming. And I had no idea until today. And it's very cold out, which is so nice. I just walked Lola and it was the perfect weather. I got to wear a hoodie. I wasn't sweating profusely and in case you're wondering this black tna hoodie is from aritzia i love it it's so like thick and cozy i'm gonna switch out some of my summer clothes with some winter stuff i have in like a closet up front over there that is not the best way to do that. I have shorts in here and swimsuits in here. I'm putting some of the sweaters and like cardigans here that can't be hung because they'll get too like droopy on the shoulders. Um, Just so I can like have some in my closet. And I usually put my summer stuff like away in storage. So I'm just bringing out some of the winter stuff. Just some of it. Not that cold yet, but... It'll be nice to have some in my closet. is on dinner veggie chili guys my money tree has been alive for almost three years that's like one of my biggest accomplishments guys i bought these scones from amazon they're like battery powered to put next to the tv look how cute that's gonna look I'm not going to do it today because I'm too tired, but I wanted to show you the vision. I'm so impressed by this dinner that Renee made. We've never done this before. It's a vegetarian chili, so it's all just like beans and corn and tomato. And then there's obviously avocado, jalapeno, cheese, sour cream, and tortilla strips. This looks so good. I can't wait to try it. I'm trying to get a little bit of everything. I'm not even acting. I'm not even acting. That's so good. <laughs> I'm going to have the recipe linked down below.
Hello friends, it's currently 9 o'clock and before I get unready and get ready for bed, I wanted to do a little self-care session. Oh my gosh, you can totally see my stuffed animals in the back. Okay, well, we're just being real here. I wanted to do a self-care session where I just kind of like mentally, what is that noise I'm hearing and I'm home alone? It's kind of a way for me to like mentally recharge and get ready for the week ahead. I feel like just getting to do some things that help me mentally zone out and fully enjoy myself is super helpful for me. I feel like it helps you stay more consistent throughout the week because at least you had this time to yourself at the beginning and kind of got off on a good note, if that makes sense. All of this to say, I'm really just gonna do things that make me happy and are fun. I have my journal. And I have my planner as well. I'm obviously, I'm in a journal. That's good for my mind. I never really want to do it, but I do have to do it. So I'm going to do that. So on my planner, I'm going to fill out like my goals for the week. To be honest, I don't do this much, but if I remember to, I will. And then I'm going to plan here in like this blank page, specific projects for each day that I need to do or work on. And usually I would fill out like this type of weekly spread too, but it seems I'm out of them which means I'm running out of this planner. I also have my coloring book because this is like my favorite thing to do when I just wanna watch TV and do something calming and fun along with it. I'm showing you my masterpiece. It's unfinished, so I'll probably try and finish this one. It's a turtle and a bear in their own little smoothie shop. Or maybe they're in their kitchen. That's kind of super extensive for a kitchen. Actually, it looks like a kitchen. They're not in a shop. I was just imagining that they were, but maybe they could be. But there's a bunch of other like super cute little drawings. This is by a girl, I believe. It's her little online store. It's called Bobby Goods. And she like draws all of these and then publishes coloring books. And I just think it's the cutest little creatures that I would love to color. I'm obviously not gonna get to do all of these things because I'll probably fall asleep, um, but I'm just showing you like things that I like to do to relax. Okay, and then I also have the books that I'm reading, which is A Court of Frost and Starlight and, and Good Girl, Bad Blood. I'm starting this one for the reading vlog, so that way I can finally finish that video. And you can tell I finished Aqua War. <sighs> it just absolutely like destroyed me and gave me life and put me back together all in one story and it was just so good and i really missed reading that book i immediately picked this up within like five minutes of finishing the last one because i was just like i'm sad it's over but in case you wanted some self-care inspo this is like all of my favorite activities i'm gonna play pll on my tv i should probably plan first <laughs> mask this is a new face mask i got from eminence organics it says that it's a sea buckthorn mask i have no idea what that means and i don't remember why i chose this one it smells good um so i'm gonna do this and then a hair mask because i'm gonna wash my hair in the morning so it's time to get unready i'm so ready to get in bed
end this video here. I have just put my hair in the mask. My hair feels prepped. My skin feels prepped. I just feel treated and moisturized and dewy and it feels great. So I am not going to do anything. I'm just going to get in bed, go to sleep. Pretty much it for this video. Thanks for coming along this Sunday with me and my weekly reset. I hadn't done this in a few weeks. So it was nice to get back on track with the resets and actually feel ready for Monday. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the vlogs. I hope they're not getting too repetitive. My daily life is very repetitive. So if you have any ideas of other things you would like to see, make sure to comment that down below. Maybe I'll throw in some themed videos just to switch it up from the regular vlogs. But nonetheless, I hope you're enjoying. Also, follow me on Instagram if you want to see some more of my content. That's where I post the rest of it. That's it for this video. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I love you all. And I will see you in my next video.